Good evening. Good evening. This is Principal Kyrie Moody, and I would like to welcome you to our 2020-2021 virtual back to school night. Unfortunately, we could not gather in person this year, um, but fortunately, uh, we do have technology uh, to kind of bridge that gap. This is not the way that I prefer to meet with you, um, but at least uh, this does provide an opportunity uh, for me to share some information and the opportunity for you to meet with your child's teacher virtually. So tonight is basically, uh, we're going to run two sessions uh, at 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. They will both pretty much be the same. Um, but at 6 o'clock, uh, we are operating some sessions um, that will feature uh, Title I, which is around school budget. Uh, myself and Ms. Chapman will host that session. Uh, and we will also have um, sessions uh, that feature our specialist teachers, um, art teacher, Mr. Burnside, um, our gym health teacher, Mr. Sturgis, and our multimedia teacher, Mr. Macon. Uh, we will also have se sessions that feature uh, Ms. Mina, our dean of students, and Mr. Carr, our new school counselor. So you can find those meeting links um, via the back to school night schedule. Um, if you do not have that schedule, uh, please ask your child's teacher to share that schedule with you uh, so you can access those links. So after my video, um, you will watch another video uh, from Mr. Carr, the counselor. He will share a little bit about his role and how he can support you through virtual learning and in-person learning. Uh, you will also watch another video from Ms. Mina. Uh, she will as well talk about her role as Dean of Students and how she can support you uh, virtually and uh, once we get back to in-person learning. So I wanted to just discuss uh, three major topics with you, three major items uh, with you. The first one is basically how uh, we can support you how we, Ludlow School, uh, can support uh, families through uh, this virtual uh, learning uh, phase that we're in. Communication uh, is really the key for us, and we focused in on three major ways to communicate with you. Uh, that is through Class Dojo. So if you have not signed up for Class Dojo, I encourage you, I uh, really implore you to sign up for Class Dojo. Uh, you can connect to Class Dojo uh, via your child's teacher. Um, and that is an app uh, that you can put on your phone, a mobile app. You can also uh, put it on the computer. But you will have direct access uh, to, to me. You can, you, can, you can message me. You can message Mrs. Chapman, uh, as well as your child's teacher, Miss Mina, Mr. Carr, as well. So that is a way that we share information to you as well. So it's a, it's a two-way communication. It's a way for you to reach out to us, and it's also a way for us to instantaneous, instantaneously share information uh, to you. We also have our uh, enhanced uh, school website, the James R. Ludlow School website. Um, so please visit us. You can just Google James R. Ludlow School, and it will you'll, you'll find in the search, you'll find our website. You can visit the website. Uh, we have made our website uh, much more robust. Uh, on, a, on a website, you will find uh, resources uh, for families and parents. Uh, you will find uh, information about the school drop-off centers. You will find information about uh, Chromebook repair locations. Uh, you will find information about the, the feeding sites. So I would definitely encourage you to go there. Uh, everything that we post on Class Dojo, we also post on our website. And the last way that we try to communicate with you is, is through social media. Um, so we do have a Facebook page, we have a Twitter page, and we have an Instagram page. So same as our website, you can search James R. Ludlow or Friends of Ludlow in either one of those social media platforms, and you will find our page. Uh, again, that's just another way uh, that we will be sharing information, such as Back to School Night, uh, Back to School Night Flyer, at the school night schedule, uh, information will be coming up soon around report cards, um, 
high school graduation, high school application uh, process. So that is definitely a way for you uh, to stay connected. And it's a way for us to make sure that we are keeping you connected and we are communicating with you regularly uh, through Class Dojo, through our website, and through social media. The other thing is what you should expect f uh, from, from us in terms of instruction. So our goal is to replicate and duplicate uh, in-person learning as much as we can, but just do it through this computer screen. So our teachers are working hard uh, each day uh, to uh, figure out ways to keep your child engaged. Um, each day we get better. This is a process. This is new for everyone. But each day we get better. Uh, each day uh, um, we strive to offer um, a, a great product um, and high quality instruction for all of our students. Um, you will see we do uh, during the course of the day, there is synchronous and asynchronous learning. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, synchronous learning is when uh, your teacher, uh, your child's teacher is live and direct with your child. And asynchronous learning uh, is when your child is working independently. That can occur during the course of the day or that can occur uh, in the afternoon. The last thing is student expectations. I just want to be clear that student expectations remain the same uh, whether we are virtual or whether we are in person. This year we do have um, three new core values. They're a part of our new PBIS initiative that Ms. Mina will go into, uh, but that is being respectful, being responsible, and being safe. We want every student to have a great experience here at James R. Ludlow, but we more than ever uh, need parents and families to support us around being responsible, being respectful, and being safe. Each day we enter your home uh, via uh, the Google Meet or the Zoom link. Uh, we take great care in that, but we also uh, need students to understand that the expectation of them being on time to class and being prepared to class is the same. Attendance is taken every day, and students will receive grades uh, based on what they produce in class and the quality of the work that they uh, turn into teachers. So this is not like the spring that we, that we recently had. Uh, we are treating this as school, as school as you are used to school. So there are grades, there are attendance, and there are expectations. If you have any questions, concerns, again, I would say reach out to your child's teacher. You can reach out to me via Class Dojo, or you can still contact the school. You can call the school as well. Uh, even though we may not be in person in school, uh, we do have a way to um, answer the phones. Um, our secretary, Ms. Cox, she is answering the phones, and if you call, uh, she will call you back if you're not able to reach someone immediately. So I hope you have a wonderful back-to-school night. Remember, you can catch me live at 6 p.m. for a Title I presentation. But other than that, um, I will see you. Thank you.